1941, three adventurers completed the Pan American Highway in a wildly unsuitable car. Now, we're retracing their steps in an even more unsuitable choice, a school bus. We bought the bus, spent a month building it, and now, along with a motley crew of friends, hitchhikers, and strangers, we're setting out to explore how the culture's landscape and the journey itself have evolved over the past 75 years. If successful, we'll be the first to navigate the full length of the Pan American Highway in a school bus. There's no support crew, just us, our bus, and the wildest adventure we've ever attempted. We're up in the mountains of Costa Rica. So we drove up into the mountains, into the night, and then we pulled over. And then the first restaurant we came to, we were like, would you mind a bunch of traveling hobos or camp in your place? And um, what kind of deal could we get? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mono. Please explain what we just received. From here. From a host. No way. Uh, you've all seen this, right? Yes. <laughs> what are you doing? We're frog hunting. He's showing us all different types of frogs. Becca loves frogs. Apparently some of them are transparent. Oh yeah, I do feel sorry for the bus. And like it was just, it was a lot. I'm, I'm afraid one of the hoses will go. Um, so it's like a hose, like a, you know, a hose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, one of those. But that's kind of it. I'm uh, like, I'm, solid, I'm genuinely not worried about hoses or like overheating. Like yeah. when I was doing those turns, every now and then I got a weird like. Duck, 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 duck. I had to drive it without the power steering. So How I mean, that? it can be done. It's not. Fun. How like, hard is it to turn? Like, remember okay. when we were double teaming my car? Steering wheel? I, where was it? What? Remember when we were Eiffel Tower in my car? <laughs> I think we've reached the bottom of the barrel with this interview. <laughs> <laughs> best breakfast I've had on this trip, by far. Yeah. <laughs> 
So Max, you want to explain then what happened this evening? Because I didn't catch any of this on film as I was trying to help out. The bus got stuck and we spent like 30 minutes swimming through ants and digging the bus out and trying to make it happen. Now we're here. Kind of comfy place with a roof and a kitchen. Um, I went to go use the kitchen because there's an available open big kitchen to us, which is pretty nice. And I just went to go get the pot and I just met a little friend hanging out in there. He likes the pot. I, I'm not getting real info anywhere on the ground that it's actually blocking anything. I just know it's happening. Um, so that could be fun. Have you heard anything from your friends about Panama and the protests? Oh, yeah. The first time I've ever actually been like in front of a banana. <laughs> Like palm. <laughs> oh, okay. And it just meant a banana in general. Like banana. I've never seen a I've banana, never seen this a banana And uh I'm gonna see some massive balls that were here before. If you can wait two seconds, you nearly will. I don't know. A long time ago. Lawful to pass when red lights are flashing. <laughs> really nice guy. Uh, that's good. In fact, the protests are popping off. It's like Guatemala. Now we go to Panama. 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 Yeah, 0219. Yeah. Prepare for fumigation. <laughs> Whoa, no way. Are we out? Are we out? Um, I consider that done. Yep. Hour, part two, one. No way! That was it? it? You're kidding? No. Holy shit. So having just crossed, we've learned that apparently there is no gas in Panama. This looks like it's functioning. So it is $1.05 for a meter. Back to Midwestern prices. Could be in Minnesota. So you can buy a machete here in Panama supermarkets for like $6.50. Well, $6.38. Stocking up for a possible long night. And a woman came over in really good English and was asking if she could help us. And she kind of gave us an alternate route. And so now we're going to look at that in more detail. Slow and steady, Nick. Don't tell me what to do. Steady makes the It's a blockade. After the evening of Roblox, we have the final challenge of get to a gate. Hey, Doggo, you, you gotta get out of the way of the bus. So I just got off the phone with Alejandro, uh, and basically, I guess his wife's been involved in the protest, so she has a little bit of an inside knowledge. Um, it sounds like they're ramping it up tomorrow. Uh, it sounds like they're closing down the main central part of the cities and then big bottlenecks. Worst case scenario, we're in walking distance. Yeah, that's fine. I will, I will walk for an hour. <laughs> Some groups of people saying like, oh, my husband left this morning at 5 a.m. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah,
should probably go tonight. Selfishly, of course, I'm like, oh, it'd be I think great to day. like. Nick, to your country. Hmm? What? You disappoint your freedom-loving ancestors. You know, it gives me the freedom to not know this. <laughs>